slug. Joe. Joe Gately. Gately. Yeah. If you can give me your whole spiel leading into the commercial as well. My whole spiel. Oh, for God's With sake. With all the emotion. And oh, my Ready? God. Ready? Action. Fallen troops. My name is Sergeant Savage. And along with my band of screaming eagles, I'm going to take the G.I. Joe line back to its core military roots using one focused storyline about me, Sergeant Robert Stephen Savage. Now, the good folks here put together a little video detailing how I was frozen for 50 years like a human popsicle. But that's all right. I'm over it now. I'm not bitter. This video will be given away free to the kids when they buy the Combat Sergeant Savage figure. It's a 22-minute animated epic video. Oh, the other thing is, new thing is, is that... Uh, we have a new larger figure this year. It's four and a half inches. Let me introduce you to the troops. They're this way. <laughs> Left face. Currently, we're shipping five soldiers. Three good guys, two bad guys. The three good guys are Sergeant Savage on my far right. Hold it up. D-Day to his left. Wait up. Give me this guy's description. I, this, is, uh, this is the leader of the group, the hero, the good-looking one, Sergeant Savage. To his left is D-Day. Reconnaissance, uh, oh, what is it now? See, now I forgot what I'm saying. That's D-Day, and to his left is Dynamite, the demolitions expert. Down below, we have their arch enemy. To the left. This guy here? Yeah. yeah. That's General Blitz. He's the one who froze me for 50 years like a human popsicle. He's the leader of the Iron Army of Stormtroopers, represented here by the cyborg Stormtrooper. All of these figures come with battle accessories, and they're currently shipping. In the, in the spring, we're what shipping... What is this guy? That's uh, Frogman Savage. That's the underwater version of, us, of Sergeant Savage, and his ankles articulate to help him swim faster. He comes in the fall. This is uh, Cyber Armor Blitz. He carries his own personal tank-piercing armor. He thinks it makes him invincible. These guys? These guys are shipping in the spring. Not only do they carry their own battle accessories, but they carry accessories for the kid. For instance, this gentleman up here, that's uh, Jungle Camo D-Day. He has a ravine traversing equipment to scale the deepest of river gorges, and he also comes with non-toxic camouflage paint for the kids. Over here, this is Urban Attack Dynamite. He rides a very cool motorcycle, and he comes with a decoder ring for the kids so they can decode the secret messages on the packaging. This is my personal favorite, Cyber Cryo Freeze Savage. Fill the cryo chamber with H2O, place in the freezer, and you've got a Savage Sickle, reminiscent of the 50 years that I was frozen like a human popsicle. Say that again? You put the, uh, this is Cryo Freeze Savage. Fill the cryo chamber with H2O, seal, pop in the freezer, and two hours later you've got a Savage Sickle, reminiscent of the 50 years that I was frozen like a human popsicle. These are our uh, battle bunkers, two machine gun bunkers that come with action figure. One comes with General Blitz, who you're looking at, and Sergeant Savage. They snap onto the, uh, the, the figures snap into the battle bunkers, and then spray the machine gun fire back and forth. They all come, also. Ah, this guy. This. This is the most advanced fighting flying machine around, the P-40 Warhawk. After installation of two batteries, not included, to press the trigger underneath, the propeller turns, the Gatling gun rotates and fires. This machine also shoots missiles, has bombs to drop, the canopy opens, and it comes with its own exclusive action figure, the fighter pilot Sergeant Savage figure. I love this piece of equipment. The P-40 Warhawk. Nice. Thank nice you. indeed. <laughs> tank? This is the... You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> thanks. 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 Ba -dum -ba. This is the Iron Panther tank. It comes with two lock and load doors, a rotating turret, and it shoots missiles. Did you get that? Yes. This is one of General Blitz armors. It also comes with its own action accessory, the Iron Anvil figure, which is uh, displayed over there. This will be available in the fall. Another version of the P-40 Warhawk, the most advanced flying fighting machine around. Yes. This is one of my personal favorites. It's the 12-inch version of me, the 12-inch version of Sergeant Savage. Uh, it's a pretty good likeness. Not as good looking, of course, but it'll get the job done. Comes with everything you see here, including uh, all the combat gear, the battle-worn fatigues, the 5 o'clock shadow, and this pump-action recoiling machine gun. Very cool indeed. Some of the accessories that go along with the 12-inch figure include the top secret Thunderwing jetpack. It has a 13-inch wingspan, shoots two missiles, and carries up to six missiles and six bombs. Allows Joe to fly low over his enemy, dropping missiles and bombs. 
You're looking there at uh, one of our action equipment accessories. That's the communications recon set with the handheld radar dish and the headset. Joe can eavesdrop on his enemies from a far distance. Also included is body armor, rope, binoculars, a spy camera, and a rocket launching rifle. By Joe Kubert. He's the man who invented the Sergeant Rock comics. You'll notice the bullet holes. Those come courtesy of our arch evil enemy, the evil General Blitz. <laughs> The evil General Blitz is out to rule the world, but standing in his way is Sergeant Savage, leading the Joes into their fiercest, most dangerous battle ever. Sergeant Savage is the biggest, baddest soldier ever to join the G.I. Joe team. And when you get Savage, you also get his brand new full-length video adventure free. You'll see the Joes wreak havoc upon General Blitz with a savage force. Sergeant Savage and the Screaming Eagles. Commando Sergeant Savage comes with a free video adventure. Other figures he sold separately. Okay, uh, welcome to Virtual Reality. Let me introduce you to some of our hot figures. Here's Ryan Steele, J.B. Reese, and Caitlin Starr in highly detailed figures just as they appear in the hot television series VR Troopers. They do battle against Grimlord's evil mutants like Darkheart and Tankatron. I knew this spring is Skug. Wait, and who's this guy here? Tankatron. Say and again, one more time. Tankatron. Okay. And knew this spring is Skug, that dastardly creature that attacks our troopers in packs when they least expect it. And watch out because here comes Air Striker with his spinning propeller. Say and, again, I'm sorry. And here comes Air Striker with his spinning propeller and blitz bomb. And knew this spring kids are going to love turning their favorite teen characters, Ryan and JB, into virtual reality warriors with their new snap-on virtual reality battle gear armor. And of course, everyone can't forget their favorite pooch, Jeb the dog. With his bug out eyes and dropping jaw, he's bad to the bone. And he takes off with his troopers with his VR trooper fighting jet pack. Now, our troopers utilize a lot of firepower when they go up against Grimlord's r nasty robot mutants. So they take off with a VR fighter bike, which not only blasts villains on the ground, but takes off. With its flip-up delta wings, it can fly through the air and blast villains with its missile launcher. <laughs> but Grimlord's got his own bit of violence here when it comes to the Skyborg jet. Watch out, because he's got an assault missile and sneaky mega bombs. And if we need some serious power, our troopers called for Turbo Cycle Command. That's the call our troopers use to summon the ever-ready VR Turbo Cycle, which not only blasts villains out of the sky, but breaks away for a double attack. And to finish off the bad guys is the VR Pursuit Jet with its drop and lock wings and five rapid fire VR missiles. And then shipping the other out. Side, the other side, shoot. Yeah, right here. The, oh. oh, this side does it now. Oh, okay. It's just one. Boy, is this a tech well, You know, these things were on uh, Alien. Uh, exactly. It's I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one problem with Hasbro and is they reuse things. And Just wait to see your final thing. You'll you'll recognize something. Don't say that. Okay. okay, so and shipping out this April are the new super deluxe VR troopers. They each have their own individual weapon, plus check out their laser light eyes. Like check out Megatech Ryan Steele here with his spinning spear power launcher. <laughs> Our TurboTech, J.B. Reese, with his dual bazooka firing VR techno bazooka. Bzzz. We've got HyperTech, Caitlin Star with their sword throwing jetpack, and they're gonna need all this power when they go up against Grimlord's sword master, the Decimator. With his dual hidden sword blaster, this guy really cuts to the point. <laughs> And just when they think their work's done, well, along comes Grimlord's second in command, General Ivar. This guy's <laughs> is one tough fighting machine, and I mean that literally, because right before your very eyes, he becomes a powerful rocket launcher. <laughs> now, when Grimlord pulls our heroes into the battle grid, that's when their martial arts skills are really put to the test. Check out Battle Grid, Caitlyn Starr. If you don't watch your step around her, she'll drop kick you back into virtual reality. Or turbo, or uh, battle. This guy. Okay. 
For the, uh, when the going gets tough, will the tough get bigger, much bigger. With the ultimate Ryan Steele, nothing stands a chance on either side of the reality barrier. He's a virtual tower of heroic strength. And kids this season are going to want the biggest, boldest VR trooper vehicle ever. And so we go with a VR battle cruiser. It's twice the fun because it's actually two vehicles in one. If our troopers need air support, they launch the VR interceptor jet, <laughs> rotate its battle wings into attack position, and blast away with its VR missile launcher. <laughs> and then hidden within the battle cruiser is the unstoppable battle auger. I tell you, with firepower like this, our troopers are going to take out Grimlord's goons once and for all. And then finally over here, we have some fabulous VR Trooper 16-inch soft figures. Ryan Steele, J.B. Reese, and Kate.